your girl Sydney and we're back with another video so today we're going to talk all about Starbucks and weight loss and I know that a lot of you guys ask me all the time what do you order when you're out to eat I do have a cheat sheet that you guys can access on my website and if you guys want to find those just go to my website I have the programs and downloads section there's the tab that says programs and then the one that says downloads the downloads has a ton of different cheat sheets so if you guys are interested all you have to do is like I think you just put in your email um, when you're ordering it and then it just sends it to your email but they are awesome cheat sheets that I created for you guys. I have fast food and then I have Starbucks specifically. So fast food is like what I order to eat out when I'm losing weight. And then this one, and I'll have the direct links um, down below as well, is all about just Starbucks. But if you guys like Starbucks the way I do and I drink it way too often and I spend my money on it, but I don't want to have like black coffee when I go there. I want to get something that I like and that I'm not going to ruin my goals drinking or that's going to be tasty. If you want to lose weight though, the end of the day it's all about being in caloric deficit so if you're trying to lose weight don't drink two frappuccinos a day eat you know Burger King and like all of those things but everything in moderation is key but these are the drinks that I drink on the daily and I love and they fit my macros and they make it really easy for me to use with that being said though for the month of April anyone that buys my e-course so if you purchase my transformation e-course it is doing so well it has helped so many people and I'm just excited because the results are showing and I've only had it out since February and people are seeing results and I'm just really excited about that and the macros are actually on the little cheat sheet but we are gonna explain all of that right now so first thing I want to explain is the basic things you can do to any drink to make them more macro friendly so if you guys don't like what's on the cheat sheet that I'm also gonna give you guys ideas for in this exact video like you can do anything to any drink and make it a little bit less calorically dense or you know carb filled hopefully this helps you out so the basic things that you can do without even you know cutting out the drinks that you actually like don't get whipped cream that's the first one if you are trying to cut something out cut out whipped cream that's like 80 to 100 calories per drink and that's something that you can simply cut out it's gonna add up in the long run if every single day you don't have whipped cream now and you usually do that's 100 calories a day that you're saving just by simply doing that. The next thing you can do is have non-fat milk rather than whole milk. And that's something that I do. I'm not a huge almond or coconut or soy milk fan uh, when it comes to my Starbucks drinks because I just feel like they taste gross and they just, they, it ruins the flavor that Starbucks gives it. And I don't really want to waste my money on something that, you know what I mean? Like you don't want to pay for a Starbucks drink that kind of tastes like crap. You don't want to buy a Starbucks drink that tastes like shit. If you're spending $6, you don't want it to taste like shit, you know? So. First thing that I always do is get non-fat milk over whole milk and then you can also order things in skinny or light. So frappuccinos or any drink, if you say you want it in light, that's like a third of the calories. So they usually, you know, decrease the calories by like a third um, when you ask for it light because they do sugar free. Um, they take away bases. They do different things for the drinks. And that's a really easy way to do it without having to say like, you know, non-fat milk, blah, 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 you know, they, they kind of do it for you, but if you want everything else in there and you just want non-fat milk, like, it's an easy way to do it. The other thing is you can always get your lattes skinny. So even if it's an iced latte or it's a hot latte, you can always get it skinny. One other thing, though, is when you're ordering something, if it's a hot drink, it is going to be more condensed. There will be less water and ice in it, obviously. And if you get something iced and you prefer cold drinks, those are usually going to be more beneficial because they are a little less in the calories because ice, which is water, has no calories and it fills up part of the cup. Whereas other ones, you can get a hot drink and pour the ice in it and ice it yourself if you want to. So that's like a random like saving money tip, but also if you get it iced, it will be less calories. The other thing, which is something that I do every single time I get Starbucks, especially for my green tea, this is my go-to favorite drink, but that's just because it, I feel clean when I drink it, it isn't sweet, and it's zero calories. You can get everything with no classic or unsweetened. There's two ways you can say it. No classic is the syrup that they put in everything to sweeten it, and unsweetened is the same way, so you can just interchange those words the other thing about the unsweetened or classic syrup that they put in it it has like 20 carbs in it so it's an easy way to just cut some carbs out another way to cut out carbs and sugar is the syrups I know I was talking about the classic syrup but they actually have other syrups there that are so calorically dense and like they have so many carbs in them and if you just get sugar-free it's going to save your life so they have vanilla 
sugar-free vanilla, sugar-free mocha, and sugar-free cinnamon dulce. I'm not a cinnamon fan, so I usually don't get cinnamon dulce, but if you guys like cinnamon, that's a good one. I love the mocha, and I really love the vanilla, and those ones are awesome. If you're just getting a normal drink, you just say sugar-free blank if it's a vanilla drink or sugar-free blank mocha. Now on to the actual Starbucks drinks. So all of these are in a cheat sheet. So when I tell you guys these, these are actually in my cheat sheet that's on my website. So if you guys want to download it, you guys totally can. It is free, and it's easy. You can keep it on your phone, in your photos, um, since it is a photo that you can just easily have in your camera roll, and it reminds you that you can order these at Starbucks. So the first one is the one that I am drinking today and that is just the green tea which is iced green tea unsweetened. So when you order that these are all based on grande drinks by the way so I just want to mention that unless I say that it's venti which I have one venti drink on my list. Um, everything else is grande but when it comes to this tea since it is unsweetened it's zero calories for a Trenta and I usually get Trentas and I'm addicted so like I have I, I drink a lot of Starbucks, but I usually just drink the tea. So that has zero calories, zero carbs, zero uh, grams of fat and protein. Um, I'm only going to name two other ones in this video, and then the cheat sheet's just going to have a ton. So if you guys want that and it benefits you, it'll be linked down below, like I said earlier. Um, the other one that I really like is the Light Caramel Frappuccino. That one is super awesome. It's a simple frappuccino. It's grande. Um, when you say light, it doesn't come with whip, and... It, I think, it still has caramel in it. It's 140 calories, 30 grams of carbs, 0 grams of fat, and 3 grams of protein. So it does have a lot of carbs in it, but for being a grande, that's not as much as they normally are. And then the other one that I'm absolutely in love with is the Ice Skinny Caramel Macchiato. So one thing I want to preface is the fact that when you are ordering a caramel macchiato, don't... Caramel is very sugary and it also is very carb filled, but at the same time it does have a little bit of protein So one thing that I like is the fact that when I get this I still have a tiny bit of protein in it This one specifically is the ice skinny caramel macchiato So it has the skinny in it. It's ice. So that's a little less calorically dense It's 121 calories 18 grams of carbs one gram of fat and then 10 grams of protein It's more on the balanced side because there are there is a little bit of uh, protein in it and the carbs are slightly lower so that's nice but the last one I do want to mention, which is also in the cheat sheet, is one that um, I don't know who created it, but someone told me to try it on Instagram. I tried it and I fell in love with it. And it has 20 calories, 5 grams of carbs, 0 grams of fat, and 0 grams of protein. And when I tell you guys um, it tastes very chocolatey but good, I really like this one. This is the Venti Iced Coffee with 4 pumps of sugar-free mocha syrup and light ice. That one is seriously one of my favorites. I like that one when I'm really craving something mocha and like chocolatey and I just don't want tea but I don't want caramel because I'm a huge car caramel fanatic but this one's like more chocolatey. It reminds me of the chocolate drink that they had a while ago and I really like it. So those are the ones that I am kind of like go-tos with. I just, right now I'm on a caramel macchiato kick if I'm gonna get something other than my tea. Um, but I go through kicks on anything, just like you all do. But frappuccinos, order them light. I guess that's the main key points. Order your frappuccinos light. Drink tea and don't get it sweetened. Um, and you can always use stevia to sweeten your own stuff. So this is called liquid stevia right here. I got it from Kroger, which is fries. Um, and it's literally just super easy to sweeten your stuff. So if you want everything to be sweetened, you can do that and you don't have to get the calories with it. But that's why I love Stevia. So with that being said, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And I hope that this video helped you out. If you guys want to get the cheat sheet, it'll be down below in the description box. And yeah, so I love you guys so much. I'll talk to you guys in my next video. And thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys haven't followed me on Instagram, followed me on um you know any of my socials then you guys should totally do that but you guys should definitely subscribe to my channel like comment down below if there's any drinks i didn't talk about or if you guys have a specific drink that you guys alter and change to make it fit um your weight loss goals so with that being said though i love you guys so much and i'll talk to you guys in my next video if you guys are looking for macro coaching all the month of april if you guys do purchase my guide program e-course whatever the heck you want to call it it is literally the i think that it's super beneficial if you're trying to lose weight and it doesn't come with a meal plan but now i'm doing a month of macro coaching and 
it's gonna be awesome because like you don't have to eat according to a specific plan you eat according to macros and calories and you can eat whatever you want as long as it fits that so it's easy it's nice and it's a lifestyle so I hope that you guys enjoyed if you did don't forget to like comment subscribe I will see you guys in my next video bye babes